Hi guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the Television Academy for Dynamic and Diverse, a celebration of diversity in television. All right, so, Hi. sorry, That's can we get JD? Right. Okay. You're quite high there, I'm, see. You know, I'm trying to make it work, I'm short, right. so. <laughs> That'd be on everybody else's level. Um, How does it feel tonight to be uh, celebrating diversity with everybody here for this event? Well, it, it really is quite an honor, and I, I still don't even know how my name got on the list. Because <laughs> uh, I've I've, uh, I'll be showing up on the new uh, the new sitcom, Mulaney. Yes. I've also been doing Criminal Minds. I'll be in this week's episode of Mike and Molly, um, movie, Movies of the Week sort of thing. I've done 80 commercials, so. I, I I actually kind of feel like I belong, but you're a pro, yeah. You're yeah, okay. thank you. You're yeah, red, totally. I, but I just I still can't quite believe that I'm actually here. I'm actually walking a red carpet. Uh, it, it does feel different, very different. Does it? Yeah, well, yeah. Very yeah. Nice. Depend, I know this could just be the shoes I'm talking about here. I took time to polish. So. You look great on the carpet. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so you yeah you're in the new show, Mulaney. Uh, what can you tell us about filming that? How's well, that I, well, filming filming Mulaney was a tremendous amount of fun. It has. Uh, you know, John Mulaney is one of the funniest guys I've ever I've ever met. He yeah. is uh, one of he was a former head writer for SNL, and the support that he got on the on the set itself was extraordinary. Lorne Michaels showed up, and he is exactly as you see him. He is like that with a cell phone. And then you, I actually said, "Holy crap, you're Lorne Michaels!" And he did this. But I think I said, "All right, I'll just go away now." You don't. Yeah. So how has it been? You know shooting comedy and then shooting drama like what do you prefer well, to be honest, I prefer uh, comedy because yeah, there's so much more flexibility that you can do in comedy. Uh, I feel out, comedy's harder, harder to do. It, it can be, but if you fall over stuff like I do all the time, it's really, really easy. Yeah, like, abs oh gosh, yes. <laughs> I was just on the set of this thing called The Reluctant Nanny for the Hallmark Channel, and uh, halfway through my scene, my chair tips over backwards. So I'm saying, well, you know, you'll need to, you know, I'm doing that, and. They didn't even yell cut. They said this kept going. And going. That works. We'll use that, yeah. <laughs> right. But if you're doing that, uh, I play an oncologist in many things. Uh, I'll be in the uh, season one finale for Chasing Life on ABC Family. Okay. And I play an oncologist who has to talk to this kid whose leg I've already cut off mm -hmm. because he's got horrible bone marrow cancer. Mm -hmm. I, there's, it's you. You start. I actually started crying in the middle of the scene, and I realized I, I can't just I can't start dashing away yeah. my tears. Yeah. It's, it's just not professional. No. But, <laughs> neither for an actor nor for an oncologist. Exactly. If yeah. an oncologist cries in front of the parents, then they're they're gonna look for somebody else. Method there, I suppose. I, I would say so. <laughs> but comedy is so much more flexible and so much more liberating because you get to do that sort of thing. That's cool. Well, and so having worked, you know, in Hollywood for a really long time, being a person of color, did you have role models growing up that you looked up to, or what made you want to become an actor? Well, the role model that, really, the only one that I can think of is that the fabulous, the fabulous George Takei. Uh, George, George, oh my, we knew George before he said, oh my, ever. Uh, but he was really the only one, and uh, what was really wonderful about George is that there was nothing particularly Asian about him. He was a member of the Starship crew. He was an integral part of it. Uh, and it, it was no big deal. Yeah. So that, I know that was a fundamental episode, excuse me, that was a fundamental message of Star Trek itself. And, and George really personified that for me. And that really, uh, that really inspired me to believe you know, I don't have to fulfill specific narrow roles. Uh, I could do pretty much whatever was required as needed. Yeah, good, good answer. I'm, I'm wondering about that because I feel like just in the past couple of years, um, more doors have been opened to depict different ethnicities, different religions, different cultures um, in Hollywood television. I mean, why do you think that is so prevalent now? I think it's more prevalent now because people are more open to it. Uh, casting directors throughout the years uh, have gotten very good at just, for example, casting an oncologist. Uh, they say, who looks like an oncologist? And they could go for you know a little Asian guy, a large African American guy, uh, but whoever walks in there that looks like an oncologist, they're willing to cast. Yeah. As opposed to in the past, they would just want uh, you know some silver-haired, 50-ish yeah. guy who looks like he's from Emergency in the yeah. year 1973. Yeah. So, so yeah, there, definitely there's much more flexibility in what is considered acceptable, what's considered possible. Uh, it, this actually, I think this goes through uh, to theater as well, because in theater, much more is allowable. Uh, I, one of the first things I ever did was I was in the play, excuse me, I was uh, in the play 1776, okay. and that is set in the American colonial times in 1776, <laughs> and there were no Orientals, excuse me, no Asians, sorry, no. 
I, I do that a I'll lot. So, yeah, Asian. Okay. But who said that? <laughs> who said Oriental? My God, I'm. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I slip quite a lot. That's all right. It happens. You're allowed. You're allowed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like if you like this video, and please subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with your favorite television show.